When I was younger, around 14, 15 years old, I was cut from the national team because I was too small. Um, they said that I, I couldn't amount to anything internationally uh, representing Canada. And so I knew that the only, the only thing I could do was find ways to make myself bigger, jump higher, hit harder. And so I hit the gym and that was kind of my differentiator as a player. I've been told often in my life that I'm so good at volleyball because I'm so tall. Physically speaking, tall, thin people aren't supposed to move a lot of weight in the gym. But I use that as motivation to be like, I am not good because of how I look, I'm good because of how hard I work. And I just wanted it more. Good morning for most of us. We just got back to the hotel from the venue after a long day of volleyball. We played two strong teams and it felt so good. Like it felt like we were finally playing our volleyball again. Time to recover, time to get ready for tomorrow. Wish us luck. did not go great. We lost to Brazil pretty decisively. I don't know, I don't know what happened. But putting that aside, Olympic qualification is now over. And drum roll please, we did reach our goal of having the number one Olympic ranking. It's been such a long process and so many ups and downs and things happening with the pandemic and are we gonna play, are we not? And like to achieve that goal despite everything is really, really cool. I'm proud of how this team has made adjustments and rallied despite adversity and like unexpected things that have happened with coaching and, and everything along the way. We knew it wouldn't be easy, and I'm really, really excited for this last stretch to get back to work, to put our best performance on the court when we get to Tokyo. I know we can do it. We just got our Olympic uniform in the mail. such an honor. It's a really special moment to see the kit in real life. Three, two, one. volleyball personally is a pioneer because it's one of the few sports that pays their men and women equally. I feel like we need to be seen as an example of women who have great body image and who are confident and love the way they look because that is so severely lacking in our world today. We went into this partnership knowing exactly what we wanted to accomplish. The thought of being able to call ourselves Olympic champions is something that motivates us both very much. 
not only from an athlete perspective, but for the history and growth of our sport in our country. We're hungry. Like, it's been a long time coming. We've waited for this. Yeah. We've worked for this. It's time, you know, like we're ready. With everything that has happened, we are gonna like storm into Tokyo and just like take no prisoners.